It is a case to thank God. Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, the recurrence relation in which the characteristic equations uh, has the roots. Uh, suppose the root of the characteristic equation is S and that appears in the, the function Fn, which is, uh, which is a part of the non-homogeneous recurrence relation. So let me just write an important theorem related to this. So theorem, let a n equal to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 plus dot dot c k a n minus k plus f of n be a non homogeneous recurrence relation if f n is of the form bt n power t plus dot dot plus p1 n plus b naught s power n where s is a root of the characteristic equation of the associated homogeneous recurrence relation then the particular solution then the particular solution a and p is equal to pt n power t plus dot dot plus p1 n plus p naught into s raised to n multiplied by n raised to m so this is the extra factor that i'm going to multiply to the particular solution from the previous case so all of you know that this is up this is case two case two was For the root s is a root of the characteristic equation where what is m where m is the multiplicity of the root of the root s okay so this theorem is going to give us the idea of writing a and p for the given non homogeneous recurrence relation consider the recurrence relation a n equal to 6 a n minus 1 minus 9 a n minus 2 plus fn write a and p for each case first Three raised to n. This is for fns. Okay, I'm giving you fns. Second, two raised to n. Third, 
n square 2 raised to n fourth n into 3 raised to n and fifth n square plus 1 into 3 raised to n okay so i will change the fn's according to the cases so the first let us first look at the original homogeneous recurrence relation so the homogeneous this is called it's uh, this is called as associated associated homogeneous recurrence relation what is that it is a n equal to 6 a n minus 1 minus 9 a n minus 2 and therefore when i write it as if i put a n equal to r power n this will become r square is equal to 6 r minus 9 and that is r square minus 6 r plus 9 is 0 and then you'll get r minus 3 into r minus 3 is equal to 0 so r will become 0 r will become 3 and 3 so this is the characteristic equation and these are the roots of the characteristic equation now we will go for the first part the first part is fn equal to 3 power n fn equal to 3 power n okay now this fn equal to 3 power n fits in the type so fn this 3 power n can be written as b naught multiplied by 3 power n which is of the form b naught times s power n okay here s is equal to 3 this s is the root of characteristic equation 3 is the root of characteristic equation so we are now in which case we have therefore landed in the case 2 so by case 2 the particular solution a and p must be p naught s raised to n multiplied by n raised to m okay now this root has occurred how many times this root has occurred how many times s is equal to root 3 has occurred two times is a root of characteristic equation with multiplicity 2 with multiplicity 2 because it has occurred how many times it has occurred two times so here m is 2 s is how much s is 3 so this means that the particular solution a and p is p naught 3 raised to n into n square this will be the form of the particular solution where p naught can be determined by substituting this into the recurrence relation and then c1 and c2 and whatever constants are there in the general solution they can be determined by using the initial conditions okay so once i know the form of a and p i know how to proceed we will similarly proceed it in the fashion of the first case let us try to write the second one now what is fn in the second problem so this is the way the first part will be solved now let us go to the second one second is 2 raised to n so now this is fn equal to 2 raised to n fits in the form of b not 2 raised to n which is b not s raised to n here s is equal to 2 is not the root of characteristic equation so this is by case 1 so this will be this is this is easy 
this is by case one what is the particular solution of the form the form of the particular solution will be p not s raised to n which is p not into 2 raised to n and this finishes over here let's go to the third part now for the third part fn is given as n square 2 raised to n n square 2 raised to n this fits in the part in the form of b2 n square plus b1 n plus b naught into s raised to n where b1 is 0 and b0 is also 0 so, and b2 is how much b2 is 1 so it becomes n square and s is how much and s is 2 so this is fitting in this part so here s equal to 2 is not the root of characteristic equation so again we fall in case 1 so by case 1 the particular solution a and b is of the form p2 n square plus p1 n plus p naught into 2 raised to n s raised to n is as it is the fourth part is fn equal to n into 3 raised to n now this fits in the part in the form of b1n plus b0 into s raised to n if b1 is 1 and b0 is 0 and s is 3 so s is 3 here this is a root of the characteristic equation so by case 2 my a and p will be of the form p1 n just replace b is by p's p1 n plus p naught into s raised to n into n raised to m all of us know that m is equal to how much m is 2 because the root s equal to 3 is two times repeated so in this case a and p will be equal to p1n plus p naught into 3 raised to n into n square this will be the form of the particular solution in the fourth part and the fifth part is fn equal to n squared plus 1 into 3 raised to n so this fn fits in the form of what n squared plus 1 into 3 raised to n can be written as b2 n square plus b1 n plus b naught into s raised to n b2 is 1 b1 is 0 b0 is 1 and here s is equal to 3 again s equal to 3 is root so by case 2 the particular solution a and p is of the form p2 n square plus p1 n plus p naught into s raised to n into n raised to m m is 2 so the last answer a and p will be equal to p2 n squared plus p1 n plus p naught into 3 raised to n into n squared